Respected Chairperson, my dear colleagues, I came here to give a lecture on CTO that last one hour back I gave. This talk was given at 11.30 yesterday night by Srinivas. Uh, let me try and just finish in the shortest possible time. Digital left main is actually having favorable results, actually recent data tells. Digital left main has 60 to 80 percent of the patients of L LMCA has this left main. The rules of engagement is actually aim for perfection and plan for the worst in LMCA. LMCA basically that. So determine the need of hemodynamic support, guide catheter selection. If distal vessel present, determine the sequence and the plan of treatment, pre-intervention IVUS if it is possible. And after intervention, antiplatelet duration and angiographic follow-up is compulsory. Cabbage versus PCI, that is syntax after syntax, we have some data favoring LMC intervention. Mortality, made actually before 2003, it was 2009, it was a class 3 indication LMC intervention. It became class 2B and now it is class 2A. Which approach, radial and femoral both can be tried, but if you have a predetermined single vessel, single strain strategy, then you can go for a radial approach. Osteal and shaft, radial is okay, but distal, by, distal LMCA, preferably femoral. And catheter, 7 French or 8 French, preferably 8 French. Hemodynamic support, if you have a poor relief function, systolic BP less than 100. If you are associated with RCA occlusion, bifurcation relation with uh, severe calcification, concomitant complex distal disease, if there is a doubt, hemodynamic support. Guide catheter, osteolar body, you can have a six French guide unless distal disease requires rotational laterectomy or primary bifurcation stenting. Bifurcation location, preferably eight French. Six French can be considered if osteal circumflex is minimal disease with a high likelihood of a single stent strategy. As a rule, if you have associated distal vessel disease, distal first, then LMC. IVUS, always IVUS is a uh, preceding thing. IVUS actually reduces the event rate. But IVUS actually MLA is less than 6 millimeter, latest is 4.8 millimeter square. Impact of IVUS definitely it reduces the event rate compared to the angiographic guided LMC intervention. OCT evaluation has also came up. Imaging, actually IVUS is a still standard the imaging technique for us is the equivocal stenosis and as a guide for intervention. Plaque modification is a must if it is an osteal or a shaft one. Always prepare the lesion. A pre-standing lesion preparation is a must. Osteal and body, short, non-compliant balloon, avoid significant undersizing. Bifurcation, aggressive lesion approach is must. Consider the mismatch between LM and LAD and circumflex. Use rotational leatherectomy for severely calcified lesion. Cutting balloon can be helpful in concentric large plaque burden lesions. Stent selection, BMS or DES, actually DES proven to be excellent and stenting technique, osteal or distal, and bifurcation stent technique is different. Data till, DES is better than BMS. Use, if an osteal thing is a use a long stent, more than eight millimeters, anchored to avoid the watermill, watermelon seating. Positioning, LAO 45, cranial 25, with one to three millimeter into the iota, control breathing if via radial. Consider using Sabo technique, can be used at one of the if calcification, basically rotablate is a choice. Multiple views to avoid circumflex or LAD osteal coverage if it is a mid-body or a shaft intervention. In a distal LMCA, there are three choices. One is a standing crossover, kissing technique or stent crushing. One stent is always better than two stents. Always the data favors single stent. LMCA training strategy, the data telling that it is always this staining strategy can be chosen over cabbage. Basically, the size of the circumflex always decides the lesion. If it is occluded, ignore it. If it is small, protection wire alone. If it is a large one, then analyze the plaque distribution, calcium, bifurcation ankle, diameter of the lady in circumflex. You keep a protection wire, balloon if you plan for a provisional stenting. Or if you just decide two standing, you just plan for a two standing itself. If it is not deceased, angle more than 65, 60 degree, only protection wire. And if it's less than 60 degree, protection wire, balloon provided, you go for a kissing. Deceased, then no means protection wire alone. 
If you are, it is not diseased, then you plan for a two stent technique. Then if this angle is less than 60, you can use a Coulot technique. If it is angle is less than 60 with LED diameter is more than circumflex diameter, you can plan for a crush technique or a kissing technique. If the angle is more than 60, you can plan for a T stenting. The left circumflex artery is the key vessel when a distal LMC is diseased. It guides the strategy for revascularization, either cabbage or bypass. It guides the strategy of PCI. You require a protection wire, provisional stenting, or a double stenting technique. Final kissing. There is the data telling there is no difference, but if you use two stents, final kissing is always better. A 60-year-old male with an inferior LMI delay presentation in January, cab, uh, angiogram to triple vessel disease with LMCA, RCA diffusely diseased, RCA stented with the two stents, LED was a trifurcation, strategy single, two or three stents, preparation of the lesion, both seen the lesion, single stent, only single stent, final result was this one. Check angio after one year, this is a shot. Single stent, done, okay. RC also doing very well. Then next is actually a hypertensive dyslipidemic patient with unstable angina, triple vessel disease, bifurcation lesion LMC with a disease in circumflex. You see the circumflex is also diseased and circumflex more than 2.5 millimeter, acquiring a lot of myocardium and lesion also in the middle area. So the plan is definitely not two stents, lesion preparation both LED as well as circumflex, LED stent distally first, both LED and circumflex has the similar size, so preferred SKS here. Three ciphers. SK is easy to do, but the problems are there. Check angio after 18 months, perfect. <coughs> 74 year old gentleman with old interval MI and stable angina, diabetic on regular treatment. Distal circumflex with a CTO LED. RCA showing LED filling up. With the help of a retrograde injection, Passing the wire is actually a tough wire, say, Miracle 6, balloon dilatation, lesion preparation. A single stent strategy was my plan, single stent, not opened up well, balloon inflation, kissing balloon, see, there is a circumflex lesion. Significant nostril disease, one more stent. It's a provisional stenting. Simple crossover was planned, ended in a final kissing. This patient check angio after 11 months, this is angiogram. It is a 58-year-old 50, gentleman, this lipidemic, no hypertension, diabetes, angina for one week and severe pain for the last three hours, slowly evolving anterior MI. RCA deceased, this is angiogram. Patient came with a refractory, unstable angina, it's a non stemi this is a patient. Hemodynamically collapsed, planned for a standing, Lesion preparation, standing to distillery first. Single stent strategy in LMCA. Result is perfect. Single strand in single check angio after six months. This is the situation. You can't get, a, get away with the result all the time better. This is the check angio. The only choice is actually RCA was doing well. So the single stent strategy, instant restenosis referred for cabbage. 74-year-old gentleman, hypertensive, diabetic, unstable angina, triple vessel with the LMCA, CTO, proximal LED, RCA disease also, distal circumflex disease, lesion preparation, LMCA to LED stenting. I landed up in two stents, excellent result, very good, but elective angiogram after 11 months showing osteal LED lesion. This actually is Focal stenosis, RCA was perfect. So what I did is only a balloon and patient is doing very well. I've done 103, that's actually this presentation is after six months back. 103 patients in the last four years, 85 patients in the last three years, 80 patients on follow-up. 
Male preponderance, age group is more than 60 years, risk factors, 50% are diabetic. Bifurcation strategy, I used SKS as well as mini crush. OCL LMC, only 5 patients with 3 stent patients have additional lesions. Check angio, 32 patients, 25 patent stent, ISR 7 patient, 3 PTC done, 3 CABG, 1 P cabbage advice, not willing to do. Again, patient is on follow. 8 patients expired. We have 6 patients were on cardiogenic shock, 3 died of the cardiogenic shock. Out of the eight patients, two are with chronic renal failure. So associated CRF, I think that's a very bad point where the patient may end up in death. Follow-up death is three patients. Cardiac death is actually six out of eight, 80, that's 80 plus eight percent. Instant resonance, I got 10 percent. And the instant resonance, when I analyzed, I was seeing that the SKSS has the maximum in ISR. Check angio, three patients, two patent and one ISR, two chronic stable angina, one in hospital death and one follow-up death and six ACS. ISR actually three in chronic stable angina, three in ACS. This was used in 92% of the patients and 4% of the patients BMS because of the financial point. SKS was the initial strategy all the time. I was feeling comfortable to do SKS. Later on, I identified that is not the way to go ahead. And now I change the strategy. Factors impacting on the choice of a multi-step approach, clinical, anatomical, and technical advantages, the staged approach to concomitant multiple so disease is always a choice. Management of RCA disease is a compulsory thing and if you do an LMC. LMC lesions are mostly not alone. In the majority of the cases, it is more than one vessel in present in 90% of the patients, more than two vessel in 65% of the patients. Decreased risk of procedural complications if you do stage LMC. Decreased periprocedural MI, decreased risk of contrastinous nephropathy, and decreased risk of bloody complications. For patients with LMCA, revascularization PCA was a comparable safety and eff efficacy outcome for cabbage to cabbage. PCA, therefore, is a reasonable approach to the syntax score is low or intermediate. Latest one is a GRS, GRC, the global risk score. If the syntax is less than 32 and with the euro score less than 5, you can safely do a PCI over cabbage. If the syntax is more than 33, always cabbage. If the syntax is more than 32 and the euro score is more than 5, then again cabbage is a better choice. Thank you very much.